Okay, so I'm back with another Savage X Fenty sports haul. You guys know that I'm going to keep reviewing these collections. I've been waiting for certain items to drop and we have a little something that I've been waiting for. Spoiler alert, I'm wearing it. So I do have a few pieces from the collection to show you. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the haul. I'm not going to lie, I saw this jumpsuit and I got so excited I just shoved it straight into the bag in my size. I didn't even realise that it's a different jumpsuit from the Curve Alert. So you know I've been waiting for the Curve Alert jumpsuit to come out in different colours. So I just saw this immediately and just put it straight in my basket. But this is actually the Knight Rider jumpsuit. I got it in extra large because that's what I preferred in the other bodysuit. And it was £85 and I got it in the flame pattern because it's the only one they have. So this one is different to the Curve Alert except for the back. So we do have a zip that is going to just completely zip, oh, see, zip down if you don't have it fully up, at least on me. Now, I love the colours in this. I do really like the print and the style, but the black is a bit sheer for me. They somehow managed to not make the other jumpsuit this sheer, as you can see, like the black here, like can you see it's white? And I don't like that. And I did have another thong on and you could kind of see like the outline. So I don't really rate it that much. So it does have like a seam that goes down here and it kind of curves around here. And then we do have like another seam that does the same and curves round. I will say it does snatch me in. I definitely need an extra large. I think a 2X would be too big, but I think it would be less sheer on the black. We do have a front seam, but I'm not really getting any camel toe issues. And then the back is exactly the same as the Curve Alert. You have like the thin straps, you have the cutout detailing. We've got the little sticky logo here. Um, the straps are adjustable. They are super stretchy. Um, I don't think the black's too sheer on the bum, considering. I think there are some patches. That is the only thing I don't like is that the black is giving that white sheer vibes. I'll put you guys down so you can see the full length. So it is down to my ankles. I do have like some extra wrinklage and a lot of like more wrinklage around like my knees than I've had in I think any of the other ones. I don't know how squat proof this would be if it is a little bit white sheer on the black. I wouldn't wear this to the gym. I quite like getting the jumpsuits to wear out casually. But yeah, apart from that black being slightly white, I do really like it and it would be such a nice jumpsuit but it's just not doing it for me with this whiteness because it does make it look like it's sheer. Okay so we actually have some shorts this time so these are the fast lane high waist shorts. I got them in a 2x and they were £40 and then I picked up this style bra, I think they have other ones, in the fast lane medium impact sports bra 2x 45 So I wanted to pick up um, some other bits in this print because it is quite a nice print. Right, if I start off with the bra, I actually really like the style of this. This is going to be super supportive for anyone that has a bigger bust. We've just got a nice plain black bit here. There's no removable padding, but it is like a nice thick double lined material. And then we do have like some nice thick straps and I like the style of them because they do give that support. And then we've got the sticky logo here and then we have nice like snug stretchy band and then you do have like the flame detailing on the sides. The back is completely mesh which I think is nice and it's definitely going to be more breathable having the mesh. So yeah I really like this, no complaints about the sports bra, it fits really nice. I like the length as well because it's a little bit longer, kind of covers like my back fat. So I wanted to pick up the shorts because I don't think they've had shorts yet have they otherwise I would have tried them. So I think these are like the first shorts and obviously we are coming into like spring so it's gonna, well, not really in the UK but it would be warmer elsewhere. So these are just basically like your standard leggings that I've tried before. you just got like the black waistband that is stretchy, the sticky logo again, you've got a front seam but I'm not getting no camel toe issues. So I will say with these we've still got some white bits in where the material is going to stretch more but it is much better than the jumpsuit I think. I still don't like that it gives that like white sheer vibes. I definitely think on the inside instead of having white they should have had black because that would prevent any of this from happening. <laughs> But I do love the length, they're like the perfect length for me, this is how I like my biker cycling shorts. They're so comfy and stretchy, again I feel like they would be very nice and sweat wicking in the gym. I, I would wear this set to the gym, like I really like it, but you can obviously wear it casually, you can mix and match, you can put this with some black shorts, black leggings, you can put a black sports bra, you can mix and match the pieces obviously on the website. So yeah, no complaints, I really like this set and I like the style, it's very flowering. Just the white sheerness, again, is a little bit of an issue. But turn around, that's what the back looks like. You just have the one seam. And again, there probably might be more, like, less sh white sheer than the jumpsuit because they are a bigger size and they're not completely stretched. Um, but yeah, again, a nice, cheap, affordable set. I do feel like the shorts 
probably give that kind of more cheaper vibe material but overall I do really like it just a bit sheer okay so before I put the camera down I did pick up the fast lane high waist leggings again at 2x and they were 50 pounds now these actually fit they're more snug but like I feel like they were a struggle to get on because I really didn't want to like rip the mesh and I also just like really took my time did a few little shimmies sucked it all in so they were a bit like hard to get on I don't feel like safe in them for some reason I feel like I'm definitely gonna I would like definitely rip them in the future trying to get them on and off this is what they look like they're exactly like the same sort of style as the, as the short sort of thing they do have like the stretchy black waistband and then we do have mesh at the side here that goes around the back and sort of down the sides here which I'll show you guys in a sec um, we've got no front seam, so you're not going to get camel toe, but I don't seem to have camel toe issues anyway. The length is great, pretty much perfect for me. I've got no wrinklage either, so I do really like that. Again, we have that white sheer issue, especially around the bum. So as you can see, that is what the back looks like. We do have the mesh here, the mesh that goes along here and then down here. So you definitely would have to move your underwear or not wear anything. Um, but I don't know if you guys can tell how like sort of white sheer it is which is slightly annoying they are comfortable to move in they're not like tight or anything like that it just seems to be quite like more snug around the mesh bit like i said but it is super stretchy they're comfortable the mesh isn't itchy or anything like that it's a really nice mesh material so yeah i do really like them but again the sheerness issue and the struggle of getting them on i would be a bit worried okay so now we have a little different set so these are the lace up high waist leggings i got them in a 2x and they're 70 pounds and then I've got the Lace Up Low Impact Sports Bra. I got in an extra large and it was £40. Now, I really love this set. So, the sports bra looks like this. It's all laced. Obviously, you can have some cleavage. I definitely think it's quite snug. So, an extra large is fine. But I probably could get a 2X just to have a bit more space. And because, like, it will push this bit of fat where it meets the leggings. Um, but, yeah, like, it's a really nice bra. Again, it's thick. It's double lined. I don't really like when they have the seams here because it kind of gives that like nipple vibes but yeah it's going to be super supportive if you are bigger busted as well i know obviously you've got nothing really in the front i will say it's probably gonna be like low medium impact but i do feel like with the coverage that it has it's going to be nice and supportive and then the lace is kind of like more snug so you will be okay the back is just like your standard racer style back and you've got like the logo detailing there right with the leggings this is where it kind of goes downhill a little bit i would say the black are somehow more opaque than the print ones but for 70 pounds i don't feel like they're kind of worth that just because they are quite thin and a little bit like more cheaper feeling i do feel like if they were thicker these would definitely be a winner they haven't got any of their logos on the front it is on the back we do have the front seam but i'm not getting no camel toe a 2x fits fine however when I show you guys the back, it is very tight. Let me show you guys the back, actually. So, we do have a seam down the bum, and then you've got the logo here. And then, as you can see, or if I come a bit closer, it is lace. So, it's mesh, and then it has, like, the cross, um, like, cross straps like it does on the front. But I do feel like this one's going to be a little bit more on the sheer side. So, I think, had the material been thicker, these would definitely be a winner. But also, I do feel like I need to keep pulling them up. They kind of slip down a bit. And the lace, like you can really feel the laces on the back. Do I think this is the gym set? Hmm. I mean, I would wear it to the gym because it's not too out there. I would obviously be covered up at the top anyway. But this is definitely an outfit you could dress up, rave. You can go to festivals and raves with it. I do feel like you could wear this to the gym. This is what you like. Because, I mean, it only comes up to here, like the mesh. So your arse isn't on show or anything like that. Overall, it's nice. Just the leggings, I don't think are worth £70 at this point. Okay, guys, I can't lie. I absolutely hate this set with a passion. So this is the Racer X top. I got it in 2X, it's £50. And the Racer X high waist leggings, I got them in an extra large. Oh, I was supposed to go in a 2X, but I accidentally put an extra large in my bag and I only noticed when I pressed paid. So yeah, they were £60. And oh my gosh i cannot wait to get this top off me it's the most awful thing i've ever put on in my life like i can't even that's not even exaggerating this no just no i feel like i am wearing something from shein like that's how deep it is and for those who live like in the uk or if you've got a primark in america in some states i think there is a primark this is giving cheap primark shein vibes like no this is just 
what is this it's sticking to my skin where the pattern is and it's awful like it feels so tight i feel like i'm in a surfer tight rubber suit that's how bad it is like this is just not not it i don't even know if that's gonna wash very well but i don't like it at all it looks cheap it feels cheap and it's like snatching my arms in so tight for a 2x as well like when i was putting it on trying to move this around like once you've got it in a position is so hard because this pattern is sticking to your skin on the inside the length is okay like it's a bit longer than i would like i don't know where i would wear this how i would wear it because i don't wear long sleeve to the gym but i wanted to try something different from them because this isn't my normal um it has like this weird seam that goes under here i guess for some support but I don't know, it's a bit weird. Like, apart, if this wasn't on the sleeves and it wasn't so tight, this would probably be okay. It is like a thicker material. It's not worth the price at all. But, yeah, I don't like this. I can't wait to get it off my arms. It's just annoying. Bottoms, we've got a nice thick waistband with the sticky logo. Again, we do have a front seam. I definitely need the 2X in the bottoms. Now, these are giving me more thicker, nicer vibes than all the other sets. Probably not worth the price, but they're okay we've got the cheap pattern on the side but it feels better on my legs it is tight again but the top is just worse like it's just awful it is a good length we've got some extra material at the bottom the back is completely plain we've just got like a few seams kind of going around i think they should be okay they're like nice to move in they're not restrictive or tight or anything like that um hopefully they're more opaque than the other ones because like i said they are a thicker material the leggings i could justify maybe paying this price for if they didn't have this on because i just don't like it i think it looks tacky i don't ask me why i picked this set up if i really feel this way about it but i thought it might just be a little bit better but i'm not feeling it like no so they were all the items i tried they do have some other styles i think in like some leggings and sports bras they've got like black shorts they've got an orange set um but these are kind of the ones that like stuck out to me the most if I have to recommend anything, I do like the jumpsuit, but again, it's sheer. And probably that black lace upset was the better one of all of them. And I do like the shorts, but again, sheer. So yeah, take from this what you will if you want to get anything. I would definitely say this is my least favourite collection so far. Like, I'm not really rating it at all. I do feel like Savage X Fenty need to step up their game with the material because it is giving cheap Shein Primark vibes for me in some of these items but yeah i will leave all the links down below if you do want to check any of them out let me know which was your favorite one from this yeah and i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys